This is where you'll discover fun and furry animal facts about our planet's incredible wildlife. From majestic mammals to super sea creatures, and curious creepy crawlies, it's an animal lover's dream. Learn animal facts about habitat, behavior, speed, and appetite. And most importantly, discover the threats that many of these amazing animals face today. Alligator When you think of an alligator, it is easy for a dinosaur to come to mind. With their huge jaws, scaly skin, and sharp claws, these creatures look a lot like monsters from a scary movie, instead of an animal that lives in ponds and swamps. Alligators belong to the reptile family, which means that they are cold-blooded, have a backbone, and are covered in dry skin with scales. They have been living on Earth for millions of years, and are sometimes called living fossils because they have not changed very much since the times of the dinosaurs. Alligators are massive animals that can weigh over 800 pounds and be as long as 10 to 13 feet. This is about as long as a car. Alligators have even been seen ambushing big animals like panthers and black bears, making them the biggest threat to animals around the area. While they don't just jump out at anything they see, they can be mean and aggressive if they feel like they need to protect themselves. So it is important that you never try to go near an alligator if you see one. Elephants Elephants belong to the mammal family, which means that they have hair, give birth to live young, and feed their babies milk. Elephants are the largest existing land animal, with massive bodies, large ears, and long trunks. Elephants' long trunks are multifunctional. They are used to pick up objects, trumpet warnings, greet other elephants, or suck up water for drinking or bathing. Elephants grow tusks, or extended teeth, which also serve many purposes. They are used to protect the elephant's trunk, lift and move objects, gather food, defend themselves, and strip bark from trees. Elephants even use their tusks to dig holes, to find water underground during a drought. Elephants are herbivores, and they need extensive land areas to survive. On average, an elephant can feed up to 18 hours, and consume hundreds of pounds of plant matter in a single day. Kangaroo Kangaroos are pretty cool animals, even though they might look a little strange, and rather different to other animals. Kangaroos don't walk, they jump everywhere. Kangaroos' bodies are designed for jumping. They have short front legs, powerful back legs, huge back feet, and strong tails. All of these help them to jump around, and their tail balances them. Kangaroos stand between 5 and 6 feet tall from their feet to their long, pointed ears. Baby kangaroos are called joeys. How cute is that? Female kangaroos usually only have one joey at a time. Mother kangaroos have special pouches on the fronts of their bodies for carrying their joeys in. Straight after they've been born, the tiny joey climbs up its mother's fur to reach her pouch. Have you ever heard that kangaroos box? Sounds quite unreal doesn't it? But it's actually true, they do really box. It wouldn't be cool to get in a boxing match with them. When kangaroos box, they hold each other with their front legs, and kick each other with their powerful hind legs. They really are strong and tough animals. Giant Panda Of all the bears, giant pandas are probably the most loved. These slow, peaceful animals have rounded faces, and almost look like they're smiling. Looking like a big teddy bear, their actions are cute, and almost everyone around the world has fallen in love with them. Although fairly big, the giant panda isn't really all that giant. It can grow up to about 3 feet tall, and 6 feet long when standing on all 4 legs. The female pandas are generally smaller than the males. Pandas eat bamboo, because it is a food source that is available all throughout the year. Since bamboo does not give pandas a lot of energy, they will eat bamboo, and spend much time sleeping, in order to conserve some of their energy. A panda that is held in a zoo does not spend as much time eating as a wild panda, because they don't have to look for their food and they have a variety other, than bamboo. This means that they sleep less, and eat less compared to pandas that are in the wild, and have to find their own food sources. Piranhas Piranha come in different colors, ranging from silver, orange, red, and black. The average piranha fish has a deep body, blunt head, and saw-edged bellies, with strong jaws suitable for their scavenging lifestyles. Almost all piranha feed on fruit, and plants. Their diet mainly consists of fruit, crustaceans, plants, worms, and insects. When the fruits fall from trees, over the river Amazon they make a splashing noise. This stimulates the piranhas to think that it is meal time. 
Most piranhas will move towards the direction of noise or splash, as they scavenge for fallen fruits. They do not attack big animals, but can however feed on dead animals that are washed down the river. Piranha will not attack you, as they rarely attack large animals, since they fear you more. Scorpion Though, they are never going to be called cute or cuddly, scorpions sure are interesting. They are arachnids, making them close cousins to spiders. They are also arthropods, because they have two pedipalps, pinchers, and a tail with a stinger. With their strong front pincers and curved stingers, scorpions even look scary. Scorpions do not have any internal bones. Instead, they have an exoskeleton, or a hard shell, on the outside of their bodies. Scorpions usually eat insects, but larger scorpions won't say no to a dinner of lizard. The largest scorpions can be 8 inches long, but most are only about 2 and a half inches. All scorpions have venom, but out of 2,000 species, only about 30 have venom strong enough to kill a person. None of these species live in the US, their stings still hurt a bunch though, so it is best to give them their space. Scorpions are mostly nocturnal animals, which means they like to hunt at night. This is mostly due to the harsh climates that they live in, such as deserts. If you shine a UV light on a scorpion, they will glow in the dark. Queen Ants Have you ever dropped a crumb of food, only to see it being carried away moments later by ants? Ants have the reputation of being some of the most organized and hardworking insects around. Ants are social creatures. They live in large, cooperative groups, called colonies. Each and every ant colony is divided into three castes, queen, males and workers. Every caste performs its own particular task. Queens and males are the most important members of a colony, as they are reproductive castes. A queen ant is usually larger and thicker than all of the other ants. This makes her stand out from the crowd. You can also identify a queen ant by watching how much attention she receives. While her sole purpose is to lay eggs, she has a large group of servants to keep her fed and clean. Though they are called queens, these ants do not tell all of the other ants in the colony what to do. Their job is to instead lay as many eggs as they possibly can. Of all the different ants in a colony, the queen will usually live the longest. They have been recorded as living for up to 30 years. Bees Although not everyone may think so, bees are insects that have many important purposes. Bees help to pollinate flowers, which is how they can bloom and grow more. They also make honey, which animals and people love to eat, as well as make many things with. Bees are different from wasps because they have small combs on their arms to help them clean their antennae and they also have unique wings. Bees need flowers in order to survive, so they can be found in any habitat that has flowering plants. Bees mainly eat the nectar and pollen from flowers. Nectar is a liquid that comes from flowers which is very sugary and gives the bees energy. Pollen is a type of powder that comes from flowers and is used to feed bee babies, which are called larvae. Female bees have a stinger on the end of their body, and they will use it to sting something that might be threatening it. The stinger comes out of the bee's body and stays in the victim, releasing new venom while also signaling to other bees to come and help. While bee stings can be painful, they aren't serious unless you are allergic to them. Sharks Calling all baby sharks Yes, sharks may have a scary reputation, especially in the summer, but these ocean creatures are important to the ecosystem. As apex predators, they keep the marine food web in balance and subsequently impact seagrass and coral reef habitats. Sharks are ancient animals. They've been on Earth for at least 420 million years. Sharks, unlike most fish, don't have bones, but cartilage, which is a soft, sinewy substance. They have several rows of teeth, and might have as many as 300 teeth in their mouths at one time. When one tooth falls out, another one moves forward to replace it. Don't be fooled because you can't see a shark's ears. A yummy hum is a low-pitched sound sharks hear that helps them find food. They can even hear an injured fish, from as far away as the length of two football fields. The Greenland shark is the longest living vertebrate on Earth. There are some in the ocean today, that were swimming around before the United States was a country. The whale shark is the largest shark in the ocean, and is about the length of a school bus. They are called gentle giants, and divers often swim with them. Whale sharks swim close to the surface of the water with their mouths open, to catch plankton. We hope you love our animal facts. We tried to cover some of the most interesting ones. Which animal is your favorite? Let us know in the comments below.
goodbye.